respectable, respectable, respectable. As an adjective, this means regarded by society to be good, proper, or correct, and it also means of some merit or importance. So it would be a respectable behavior, for example, to hold the door open for other people, to be polite in public, for example. And when we're talking about merit or importance, you could say that somebody um, at a senior level of their career, so I don't know, a high level accountant, uh, a high level lawyer or something like that, uh, is also respectable because of their merit or importance. Let's have a look at some example sentences. <coughs> Pardon me. He's a respectable man. He's a respectable man. They are a respectable organization. They are a respectable organization. Her behavior is respectable. I might ask her on a date. Her behavior is respectable. I might ask her on a date. Getting a bachelor's degree is a respectable career move. Getting a bachelor's degree is a respectable career move. Classy, classy, classy. As an adjective, this means stylish and sophisticated. Mm, it's hard for me to explain that this really. I'm not very classy, uh, to be honest with you. But it's the kind of person who, um, I don't know, you, you give them some wine and they'll drink it uh, and the wine glass in a certain way and they'll give you some details about it because they're sophisticated and they'll dress very well in a stylish manner because they're classy right so that's that's what classy is or the best i can give you as an example let's have a look at some sentences shall we he's a classy man and knows how to fit in he's a classy man and knows how to fit in she's classy I just love seeing her in those outfits. She's classy. I just love seeing her in those outfits. She has a very classy look. She has a very classy look. He's not very classy, is he? He's not very classy, is he? <clears throat> available. 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 As an adjective, this means able to be used or obtained at someone's disposal so a toilet if a toilet is uh, open and no one is using it we'd say it's available for example or you know if you ask if a store has a certain product i i don't know do you have any milk and they'll say yes there is some milk available we could say that and when we're talking about people uh, in a romantic context what we're asking when we ask if they're available is we're asking if they have a partner or if they're single. If they're single, we could say that they're available, for example. Let's have a look at some sentences. She's available on Tuesday night. I'll take her out for a meal. She's available on Tuesday night. I'll take her out for a meal. Do you know if he is available or does he have a girlfriend? Do you know if he is available? Or does he have a girlfriend? I'm available tonight. Let's go somewhere fun. I'm available tonight. Let's go somewhere fun. The toilet was not available. It was occupied. The toilet was not available. It was occupied. Luscious. 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 As an adjective, when referring to food or wine... This just means having a pleasing, rich, sweet taste. And when referring to a person, or I suppose an object, maybe, it just means very sexually attractive. So, wine, food. You could say that a steak, uh, a steak with wine is luscious because it has a great taste, a very sweet, lovely taste, a full taste. And you might say that um, burnt chicken is not very luscious because it has a disgusting very bitter and burnt taste. Now, the very sexually attractive uh, definition, I think, is quite self-explanatory. So we'll just go to example sentences. Those were some luscious marshmallows. Those were some luscious marshmallows. Her, his lips are so luscious. 
his lips are so luscious. She's a very luscious individual. She's a very luscious individual. The way they move is luscious. The way they move is luscious. Playful. 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 As an adjective, this means fond of games and amusement. Light-hearted. So this just means someone who... I mean, playful, it's, it's, it's pretty close to play. They just like to play around and have fun and not take things too seriously. Uh, this might not mean all the time. It might just mean, you know, when they're out on dates, they're playful and they might be serious in their own careers and their life. Uh, so it generally refers to um, in private occasions rather than, you know, in serious business occasions. Let's have a look at some example sentences. He's a very playful man. He's a very playful man. I saw him making jokes and dancing in a playful way. I saw him making jokes and dancing in a playful way. I love how playful she is when we are on dates. I love how playful she is when we are on dates. She is too playful for me. I need a more serious woman. She is too playful for me. I need a more serious woman. Tempting, tempting, tempting. As an adjective, this means appealing to or attracting someone, even if wrong or inadvisable. So, in the negative, uh, you may be married and you might see a beautiful woman and you're tempted to kiss her or do something you shouldn't with her that your wife would not enjoy because she's very tempting. Right? Or food, for example, could be very tempting. Perhaps you're on a diet and you see some chocolate and it's very appealing and very attractive to you and it's tempting to eat the chocolate even though it's wrong because it would be you you would be breaking your diet if you did it right and it goes against your aim of losing weight or whatever let's have a look at some example sentences he's tempting me to kiss him and i might just do it he's tempting me to kiss him and i might just do it She's tempting me to be more intimate with her. She's tempting me to be more intimate with her. They are very tempting people, that couple at the bar. They are very tempting people, that couple at the bar. Heartfelt, heartfelt, heartfelt. As an adjective, this means when talking about a feeling or its expression, but it's sincere, deeply and strongly felt. So it just, it's like uh, when a child smiles and you can see they're really happy. They're not faking the emotion. It's a very deep emotion. Uh, when somebody laughs in public and they laugh uncontrollably, it's a very heartfelt laugh because, um, you know, you can tell that it's a deeply felt and strongly felt uh, laugh, the humor. And it's sincere. It can't be hidden. You know, that's heartfelt. Let's have a look at some example sentences. He confessed his love for me in an immensely heartfelt way. He confessed his love for me in an immensely heartfelt way. She had a heartfelt smile. She had a heartfelt smile. I had a heartfelt feeling for her. And so I kissed her. I had a heartfelt feeling for her, and so I kissed her. What he said to me, it wasn't very convincing or heartfelt. What he said to me, it wasn't very convincing or heartfelt. Whimsical, whimsical, whimsical. As an adjective, this means being playfully quaint or fanciful especially in an appealing and amusing way. And it means acting, it also means acting or behaving in a capricious manner. It's like, um, I guess, being odd, uh, being abnormal, be acting differently or being different in a fun way, in a great way, in a way that's generally positive. And this could apply to objects as well. You could have a whimsical 
doll that's like quite weird and looks like it was expensive but it's not quite normal it's not necessarily correct but it's quite good to look at regardless of that let's have a look at some uh, sentences shall we he danced in a whimsical manner he danced in a whimsical manner she is very whimsical it's cute she is very whimsical it's cute the poem he read was extremely whimsical the poem he read was extremely whimsical what a whimsical character she is what a whimsical character she is enthusiastic 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 as an adjective, this means having or showing intense and eager enjoyment, interest or improvement, approval, not improvement, approval, should I say. <clears throat> what this basically means is, uh, let's say I were to ask you if you want to uh, have lunch with me. If you are not enthusiastic, you might say this. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I'm very interested. Thanks for inviting me. You notice that the tone is very monotone and I don't have much interest. But if you are very enthusiastic to go for dinner with me or lunch or eat with me, you might say the following. Oh, yes, I'd love to come to dinner with you. Yes, yes, let's go right now. Please, please. I'm so excited. Now I'm showing that I really, really want to. Uh, or the person who's talking to me is showing that they really, really want to eat with me. They really, really want to go have dinner or lunch or whatever with me. And that's being enthusiastic. Let's have a look at some example sentences. She was very enthusiastic when she came to my house last night. She was very enthusiastic when she came to my house last night. He's very enthusiastic with my friends. I like that. He's very enthusiastic with my friends. I like that. She was enthusiastic until I told her that she's ugly. She was enthusiastic until I told her that she's ugly. Daniel is an enthusiastic graphic designer. Daniel is an enthusiastic graphic designer. Graceful, graceful, graceful. As an adjective, this means moving in an attractive way that shows control, having a smooth, attractive form. So I'm going to use an animal or some animals as examples. Uh, a lot of birds, you know, when you see them flying, they seem to fly with extreme control and precision in a very beautiful way, in a very delicate way. So you can say that birds fly gracefully, they move gracefully. But you can also say that someone with an attractive appearance is graceful in their appearance, right? Let's have a look at some examples. She dances in such a graceful way. She dances in such a graceful way. That ballet dancer is so graceful. That ballet dancer is so graceful. Ethan is a graceful man. Ethan is a graceful man. What a graceful performance. What a graceful performance.